okay, there's no save. Okay, so we're gonna do a new game. No, we can load a game. Well, don't we just want to start new and then just do all all asshole run to slay the princess? We could start one, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Okay, because we can just tab through all this. Okay, so we we have other knife runs, don't we? Like other knife princesses, I think. Um, let me pull up the. There's a flow chart. Yeah, let's let's flow chart. let's get a flow get a flow chart so we don't we don't spend too much time because I think we could just sort of speed run the dickhead run. So how are you guys all enjoying this? I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am because this is. I really love the writing in this game. Like, Block Tabby Games, man. I want to know where the hell you just... Get, like, I, I just... I want to be able to write as good as you guys do. Because, God, there's some amazing lines. Mm-hmm. Will, uh, <laughs> will, the, will the Trekkie Monster voice come back? Uh... I, I, with appropriate lines, I think so. I didn't want to do the Trekkie monster doing that during that because that was really, um, really poignant and touching and heartfelt. And I just wouldn't be like, mm, I love you too. <laughs> like, I didn't want to do that because I feel that that cut undercuts everything that's happening. Yeah. There was some gravitas that we needed to. Yeah, there was, there. there was a little bit of weight that I wanted to be able to, you know, I wanted to appreciate. Yeah. Okay. So, what, uh... Okay. Uh, I, I see you sent me the, the thing. Okay. Where the... Jesus, how do we start? Oh, okay. In the center. Armed. armed or unarmed. Okay, we've done Nightmare. Um, but we didn't get... Moment of Clarity. Uh... Prisoner and Gray... I don't think we did Prisoner and Gray. Razor. We did Arms Race, Mutually Assured Destruction... Uh, a no way out, empty cup. God, there's so many. Mm -hmm. Wait, tower, apotheosis, fury. Okay. Oh, wait, dominant, godly, unwound, tunneling, fierce, spiral, feral, wordless, wounded, endless, thorny, untrusting. All right, we got thorny. Oh man. Oh, there's, there's the evanescence princess. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> there's so many. Okay, you know what? You know what? Why don't we put this to the to the vote? Like, why don't we why don't we toss out a couple of them? We need four. Um, and we let let everyone watching decide which routes we go. That sounds good to me. Okay. Okay, the Les Mis line was uh, was off the cuff. Me be trying to be clever, um, but okay. So all right, so we need four. So uh, endless is a trip. So let's let's put endless on the docket. I personally, um, there's I kind of want to go godly because leading up to that, there's tower and apotheosis, which is going to be sure insanity. Yeah, for sure. Sure, Raf can get a vote. Yeah, sounds good. Um, so I think if we're going to go kind of full deck, dickhead run, um, we want to stay on the right side of this. So there's fierce, tunneling, unwound, dominant. Um, wait, no, I think we got dominant when we pledged Yeah, that ourselves. was our dommy mommy. That was dommy mommy. Okay. So fierce, tunneling, unwound, and godly. Um, then there's... Beating, uh, evanescent, seething. Ooh, we never got seething. No, we didn't. Gratuitous. What is gratuitous? Mm. Mournful and guarded. And then in nightmare, there's terrifying and scattered. Oh. Oh, I did get evanescent on the first run. Oh yeah, that's right. Cause it's Spectre, and then we freed her. But we, mm. if we slay her, we get Wraith and then Seething, which is kind of terrifying. Terrifying, yeah. Okay, so, alright, so Fierce, Tunneling, 
unwound. Um, terrifying, scattered, guarded, mournful, gratuitous, or a seething and then beating. Scattered is also a trip. Scattered does seem like a trip. Yeah. I want, I want like, me like messed up terrifying. Uh, so, well, okay. Tower leads to apotheosis, which leads to godly. Godly seems like an interesting one. I'm not going to lie. I want to know what's going on with gratuitous. Gratuitous does sound very interesting. Oh, okay. We got guarded. Okay. So what do you guys think? I'm willing to I'm willing to not do godly cuz I'm I'm just curious about what the hell gratuitous is. Hmm. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's do this. Uh, Teresa, can you put this in the chat? In the actual, like, uh, the, the stream chat. Bloop. Okay, so people can take a look at it. And I think in the meantime, let's go for, let's go for Godly. Let's get that out, get one out of the way, because I want to do Godly. Okay. And then while, while everyone can look it over, um, we'll start, we'll, we'll do this thing. So, Godly is, I have to go armed. Go in armed and then we die. Okay, so we go armed, and then we get our ass kicked. And then we get our ass kicked again. Okay. Easy. Okay, alright, so silently continue to the cabin. Uh, proceed into the cabin. And I'm actually gonna save it here, because, just in case I fuck it up. Okay. The interior of the cabin armed. is almost entirely bare. Right, okay, so we're gonna... Bleep bloop. Bleep bloop. Okay. Uh, take the blade. You take. Enter the basement. We're gonna hesitate as much as possible. Okay. A door. Uh, hey, I think I'm here to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, are you now? Uh, Why don't you come down and let me take a look at you? I haven't decided yet. How about you? Dr uh, tighten your grip. Yeah. You ignore the trembling in your. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm not dropping the blade. We're just going to keep talking and we're in a stall. Yes. Then I'm not talking to you. Ugh, God damn it. Fine. Squint. <laughs> well, fine. I guess we're at an impasse. You stare at the prince. Squint harder. You squint. This is where she kicks hard. our ass. Yeah. Oh, no. We got to drop the blade. Oh. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. Yeah, it's fine. We'll talk. Against your better judgment, all right, this is all. Um, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Unarmed. How long have you been down here? Do you know why I'm here to kill you? There's people out there. What do you have to say about that? Uh, are, are you coming on to me? Um... Yeah, let's do this one. Don't just tell her that. No, she's she knows. Yeah, that's cute. Do you believe that? Do you think I'm some sort of <laughs> monster? Not yet. I'm if working I'm on it. If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so dangerous? Uh, deflect. No, but I'm sure they're... I'm going to deflect. Okay. Princess hesitates before responding. Yeah, we all know this. Okay. Um, uh, okay, we've talked enough. I don't think there's much more I can get to hesitate here. Oh, have you decided... Uh, I'm going to examine the chain. Oh, no, no. That's. Uh, I'm going to keep you locked away down here at least for a bit. If I go to Slay, she'll fight and then kill me. 
Right, which that, I think we need to do. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, we have to perish. Yeah, yeah here we go. Blade trembling in your hand, but you've already yep. lost the battle. Yeah, no, she kicks my ass. She casually sidesteps your thrust before knocking you to the ground with a single blow from her elbow. We shouldn't have hesitated. Oh, we fucked up. But she doesn't stop there. She kicks you a few times for good measure, the pointed tip of her shoes feeling like a pickaxe against your fracturing bones, making sure you stay down. As you lie, crushed and broken on the basement floor, the princess kneels on your throat, Oof. with the kind of weight you didn't think her slight frame could possibly possess. If As you gasp for air, she eyes you yet. with an intense curiosity. You shouldn't have let that fear creep into your heart. You had the upper hand, and now look at you. No, I'm fine with this. Harder. This is fine. Really Harder. the best you could do. Look at you. Completely broken. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little disappointed. This is definitely the Dami Mommy route. Mm-hmm. She applies more pressure, slowly squeezing what's left of your life out of your lungs. Yeah, that's it. That's the shit. This is the end, isn't it? I'm afraid it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. Womp, 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 womp. Okay, tower. So now we need to perish once again, more. Again. Yeah, last time we we swore fealty to Dobby Mommy. Yeah. Okay. Um, proceed to the cabin. Oh. Proceed into the cabin. I'm gonna take the knife again. Um, because that's how we get her to, uh, to come at us. Oh god, I forgot about the ladder. Yeah. Res res Resist her, but not too hard that we stab. Okay. Okay. You take the blade from the altar. It would be difficult. Yeah, into the basement. <laughs> Resist her. Oh, I'm totally not into this. Oh, no. The door to the basement creaks open. Yeah, we know. Okay, continue down the stairs. Making your way down the spiral staircase is a time con- Oh, God, yes. Uh, resist her. Tighten her grip. We want to resist. Yeah. As if on command, the blade slips from oh, no. your grasp. It clatters uselessly to the floor. But I, but I held on tight. I must be so sweaty. I'm sorry. Yeah, we right. Drop it. We decided to grip it tighter, remember? Are you really just going to let that happen to us? I have a duty to report facts as facts, and the fact is that you dropped the blade. Of course we dropped it. She's so much more than us. You wouldn't understand. Bob <laughs> sweaty, Bob spaghetti. <laughs> I think we've heard all this. Oh no, is this? Oh, not... I understand go. what's going on, and you'd better snap yourself out of it. No. No. Nah, I'm not gonna do it. Oh, are you still trying to defy me? I said, Neil. Your legs buckle, and your knees hit the floor. Okay. I'm the only. That's Got a it. good little bird. No. Why don't we talk? Tweet, tweet! <laughs> <laughs> you told me I was destined to end the world. That thought wrapped itself around my heart. It has pulled at me since the moment I squeezed the life out of your broken lungs. I could feel its fundamental truth awaken me. <laughs> I feel like there's uh, something else awakening in the people watching this. <laughs> and that's perfectly fine. It's a necessary prelude to the birth of the new. And the world as it is now is overdue for alterations. It's time for me to seize my destiny. And you, little bird, will help me seize it. Okay, we don't want to pledge to her. Doesn't it? it does. But why did she say the last time we met? That's not right. That can't be. Okay. Uh, what would you have me do? What do you have planned? Just because you're supposed to end the world doesn't mean you actually have to do it. You could be uh, blah 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 blah. Uh, what happened to you after I died? I have questions. Uh, I'm yours to command. No, nope. I'm not going to help you end the world. I don't care if something new comes after. I just can't let you do that. We want to resist. Yep. I say. Perhaps you need another lesson in submitting to your betters. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> hey, thank you for the raid. Hey, thank you for the raid. Yeah, you just got in time for perfect, Mommy. Yeah, we're doing this. 
Oh, do oh. it. It's what she wants. No objections here. I don't know what she's planning, and I don't like that we don't know what she's planning, but we might as well pick up the blade. As your eye falls on the blade, you feel a weight. Some divine hand that sits unperceived by your senses, but that manages to push you towards its desires like an unseen puppeteer. Okay, I can only pick up the blade. I guess so. You reach forward and grasp the blade. Stand. Okay. This one's easy. See? This isn't so bad. Okay, yeah. We can do that. The hero is like, I am at full well, attention. Stand anyway. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to kneel here forever. <laughs> you can feel a creaking tension between body and will as you slowly rise to your feet. Ugh. Like two foes forced into an unhappy truce. Creaking tension is just me waking up in the morning as my bones reset. <laughs> Princess that sounds correct. Yeah. <laughs> the moment seems to last a lifetime, the silent anticipation of what's to come dragging out the long, painful seconds. But all oh. sight To define me is to claim we stand on level ground. We do not. You are quiet, Shadow. While I am brilliant radiance. Take that knife in your hand and slit your throat. I mean, I guess this is what we want. This is how we get apotheosis, right? Yep. What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? Don't have to listen to her. You're armed. Just steal your nerves, step forward, and end this. Uh, end this. Wait. That's our only option. Okay. I don't want to stab. I like stab. how open-ended this is. We might slit our own throat. We might stab her. Yeah. Who knows? Oh, we'll end this all right. Yeah. Your hand lifts yep. the blade and brings it towards your throat. Okay, I apologize for the unclear language. End her. Yeah, no, no. You. This is on you, narrator. You fucked up. Nope, yep. slay, slay yourself. Yep, perish. No, Bye, everybody. Just slay yourself. You're perfectly healthy and capable, and all you have to do is ignore her and do what has to be done. But, but, but this is what she wants, and I want her to like me. It. Remain firmly locked in place until you change your mind and decide to do literally anything else. Look at you quaking against my will. An ant defying a god. It's pointless to resist. In the end... Everything submits to oblivion. But you're not the one resisting me, are you? There's something else in there. Yeah, if you could, you know what? If you could bring the knife up to my temple and deal with that, I'd appreciate it. Is that a person? No, it used to be a person. It's something different now. An echo. Is, is she talking about you? Shift the jigs up! Scatter! <laughs> She's not supposed to be able to interact with me. She. You're a small one, aren't you? A shriveling little worm stretched beyond its limits, trying to control things that it can't understand. No, no, no. What are you talking about? I'm just. I don't care what you are. You're mine. Oh, good. Have him. Keep him. Yeah, please. Oh, that didn't sound like that was painful. That sounded like something else. <laughs> oh, baby? You slice through soft flesh, severing veins and arteries. Your blood flowing freely down your body. That didn't sound like a scream, a of, scream of terror. That was like, oh, God! pain won't last forever. No, 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 no. When I see you again, you'll free me from my chains and deliver me to the destiny that lies beyond this place. We will. I promise. I know you will. Everything goes dark and you die. Yeah, apotheosis! Yeah. yeah! I don't think we need to do anything here. I think we just get to apotheosis. You're on yep. the path in the woods. And at the end of that path, 
Oh, let me guess. At the end of that path is a cabin. Oh, the the hero's done. He's he's snapped. He's done. Yeah. Excuse me. I don't blame him. Can you blame him? No, absolutely not. And this is hardly a path in the woods. It's all big and weird. <laughs> he, he's a he's like Haha, this is like the, not the first time, man. And I'm kind of freaking out. Another witness. He's going full ladies. shaggy over here. Her yep. power is soon upon us. I'm here to keep him in check. I'm sick of prying fingers digging around in our head, and he's making it all too easy for them to get in. This is bad. Oh, is it now? I hadn't noticed. Do you need a primer, Mr. Amnesiac? <laughs> no, I'm quite all right. I like sarcastic you hero. Take a moment to I like him too. There's something important I'd like to get across to you before it's too late. Is it about the princess? We already know all about the princess. Not to be trusted, that one. <laughs> the hero is just done with this. He's so done. No, I, I mean, yes, it's about the princess, but whatever you think I'm going to say, it's probably not that. Bullshit. Don't surprise You're not us. Trusted either. Look, fine, just out with it already, yeah? But if I hear the words, you're here to slay her, or if you don't, it will be the end of the world, you'll have lost speaking privileges. You two are just wasting your time. It's all going to end when we open that cabin door, which means it's already all over. What's the point of dawdling? You know, in the end, I would love to know if the guy who voiced this actually, like, had the whole conversa conversation written out and he switched between the different, like, inflections or, and whatnot, or if he voiced, like, all of the voice of the broken lines and then, you know, to keep that tone. Because if he flip-flopped, that's some, that's some range. That's some talent. That's some skill, yeah. Okay, that nonsense he's going on about, that's what we need to talk about. You've been here before, obviously. So you obviously. have met us. Obviously. Because boy, were you in denial about that last time. No, I haven't met you, but reality is clearly falling apart at the moment, and the only reason that would happen is if you knew things you weren't supposed to know. Oh, that, oh, what? interesting. What the hell are you talking about? He's talking about those weird marble trees and how wrong everything looks. Yes, exactly. Whatever you did before gave her far too much power. So you've got to cut it out, get to that cabin and slay her before things get any more out of hand. We've built a new god, and she is limitless. Okay, Broken, you can settle. Are our thoughts doing that? <gasps> make her small, make her small, make her small, make her small. Sh shit, what if I'm doing it wrong? What if I'm making her even stronger? Now you're making her stronger. Do you hear those two? With their runaway thoughts. I'm only giving you the sliver of information I'm giving you now because things are already deep in the shitter. <laughs> this was my last card to play, and it looks like it's already made things worse. So hurry, cabin, now. Uh, run away! Now I head to the cabin. Yeah, it's fine. But a great and horrible change is already underway. The ground quakes beneath uh -oh. your feet, and you feel an unyielding force pulling at you and your surroundings. The trees start to sway, then crumble, breaking apart as everything is drawn towards the cabin. Oh boy. Even the earth beneath you seems to shift, your feet unable to grip solid ground as you're dragged forward along with everything else. The end of everything. The beginning of something new. The moment we open that door, she will be free. Stop believing everything you hear. We just have to get our thoughts in order. We just have to think straight. Any, uh, words of warning? You already know everything you need to know. All right, here we go. As you here we go. Oh! The cabin explodes. Oh, that was easy. Ah, you can't do anything. Violently slamming into a tree as debris rains down around you. Oh, it's Ethan Kellyan. You watch. Ah. Oh no! Biblically accurate princess! The princess emerges, her body unfurling from some vast space as she stands upright to face you. Alright, this is rad as hell! This is very, very cool. The world bows to her. The ruined landscape shifts, trees and stone and the ground itself succumbing to her gravity, orbiting her like a great black hole. And you wanted me to kill that! Finally, the little bird has set me free. This is always how it was going to end. And this is always how it was going to begin. Like, <laughs> attack on waifu. Yeah, man, what was I supposed to do with my little knife? 
there's a loud thump. Oh, hey, there it is. You as something embeds in its shattered bark. Your pristine blade. It's now or never. Is it? All right. Do we want to fight this thing? Do we want to go out like a champ? Or do we just want to be like, nah, man. <laughs> uh, I feel like we go out like a champ. Let's go out like a champ. Yeah. Screw all of this. I'm with you. A real god wouldn't need us as part of her plan. Fight god. Become <laughs> god. Make it to her. And even if you do, what could you possibly hope to accomplish? I have the power of narrator and anime on my side. Let's do this. We'll do what we were always supposed to. We'll take this blade and we'll sink it into her heart. Look at the way everything's being flung around her. If we just throw ourselves in her direction, I, I, I don't know. Maybe it'll work. Maybe none of this is real. Maybe we can do whatever we want to do. With a forceful tug, you yank the blade out from the tree. You close your eyes and take a deep breath. And for a moment, you can feel everything around you like you're a part of everything. And everything is a part of you. No, we're holding it like the contrarian. Yeah. And then your eyes open, settling on your target. This is genuinely one of the coolest princesses. Like, man, this is awesome. Yeah, this is. Slay the princess! Fuck yeah! You launch yourself towards the princess. You can feel her gravity envelop you, carrying you from the ground into the violent swirl of her orbit. Even now you defy me. Do it, then. Show me what you think it takes to end what's destined to end everything. Yeah. Do it. Show her. Yeah. Yeah. And this. Why do I feel so cold? That was easy. Yeah. We didn't even have to do anything. Uh, bye. I'm like 40 feet in the air. Like, do I just like careen into the ground because her orbit disappeared? No, you just land in your bed of hair. It's fine. My, my bed of hair. Okay. Yeah, we don't get the chance to slay her. Uh, something has taken her away, and it's left something else in her place. Oh, where did she go? Witness your better's ascension. My god. She's gone. Is this the end of the world? Did she end herself? And is that a mirror? Can I... Okay, yeah, approach the mirror. I'm begging you. Yeah, ignore him. Sorry, hero. I must gaze upon myself. I don't want to look at us. Yeah, distant approach, gaze into my reflection. I am Burb. Proceed to the cabin. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say, like, is it just her foot? No, it's just her head sticking out of the ground. This is End of Evangelion. Something finds me. <laughs> the the hands can not barely hold her. Brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. A fra That's fragile? Th that's a okay. fragile vessel? So, uh, what, uh, uh, the gift of a fragile vessel? Yes, nerves and fibers to feel the world's beyond, perspectives to make my own. This one is dominance. A figure capable of bending everything to her will. She will make for a terrifying and divine heart. Yeah, no shit. Do not mourn her, for she would not be able to mourn you. Okay, uh... Do we know what happens now? Uh, what do you think? Um... I mean, I think just what happens now, because we know all of this. Yeah. Nothing as we are. Yeah, let's see if I can... Yeah, okay. Um, okay, make me forget. Yep. She asked. Boom. Okay, what are we doing next? Let's see, Scott had a couple... Oh, where did they go? I'm gonna go to the cabin anyway. Scott's boat was for endless or scattered. Okay. Um. 
scattered for horror, endless for batshit. Oh boy. I do love me some batshit. All right, let's do endless. I know Hillary wanted to do uh, feral, and then uh, Luke, did you have one? Let's see. All right. Which one was batshit? Endless. Endless is batshit. Endless is batshit. Okay, that one I need to go into uh, unarmed. So I'm just going to enter the basement. Okay. Okay, so, okay, so we're doing endless, uh, and that'll... Okay, cool, so we'll do endless. The door to the basement creaks open. Okay, yeah. Uh, hey, I'm here to see... The... Wait, okay, so how do we get to... So we got unarmed, and we have to die. We have to die. And that will bring us to Beast. Slay or digested? Uh, okay. Um, so we need to, we need to die. So... Lie. I think that will get her to not trust us, and she'll probably want to kill us. Okay. Wait, really? You're here to rescue me? I, I was starting to think I'd be stuck down here forever. I see. You're trying to get her to lower her guard. It's a gamble, but it might work. Come downstairs. I want to see the face of my rescuer. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the yeah, princess. Okay. Yeah. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Okay. Uh... Let's talk a bit first. Well, no. If we if we examine the chains and there's nothing we can do, we go up. We see that there's a key. There's no key. We get locked in, and then yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. You're only making this more. Yeah. Okay. I'm going upstairs. Okay. Let's turn the bottom of the stairs. You make your way to the. Uh. S save the princess. Oh, I fucked up. Well, okay. How do we get Feral, then? Feral is the same route. Okay. Don't examine the chains. Oh, we weren't supposed to examine the chains? Okay. Um. And I was an idiot and didn't just say... I, I forgot to save it at the start of this one. Can I back it up? There's no way for me to back it up. Okay. Alright. Then, here's what we do... Uh, we'll do... We'll... Which, we're going for Endless, right? Uh-huh. Yep. We can still get it if we slay. Yeah, that we just go, we go kind of the other route. We'll get the Witch route instead. Yeah, we get Witch, and then we can leave, and then we get Wild, as opposed to a Trust. Yeah. Okay, so we slay. Slay! Slay! Hesitation, you bring oh, the that sucks. Down and plunge it into the princess's back. Finally. The wound drives her Oh, that ground. sucks. It does suck. Okay. There's no going back now. I'm with you to the end. You, you bastard. Were you lying to me this whole time? Oh, yeah. This yeah, this would definitely lead us to witch. The princess pushes away from you, the motion ripping the blade from her back. Wounded, but still alive, she crouches on all fours all right. in the corner of the room and meets your eyes with the ferocity of a cornered predator. You've made a terrible enemy, and there's nothing in the world that can possibly save you from me. I thought we had the Yeah, other we hand, need a save emoji. I get it. She's barely even threatened by us. <laughs> it's an act. She's wounded and unarmed. There's nothing she can do to hurt you. I'm not so sure. Don't waver now. As you ready your blades to deliver a lethal blow, she lunges at your legs with the same animal ferocity she used to tear at her arm. Your knife cuts into her again and again as you're tackled right. to the ground. Your You've body seen all this. Why is it not letting me tap? She rips into you with tooth and claw. Forget about trying to rescue her. This is about survival now. Give her everything you've got. Oh, I get it. Slay the princess. Though your nerves are seizing with pain, you know you've done your fair share of damage as well. Your blade having left deep gashes in the princess's back. You seize a moment of hesitation to throw her off of you and shakily push yourself back to your knees. We can still turn this around. 
uh, finish the job. You steal your resolve and take another step closer to the princess. You probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can still make sure that she won't make it out of here either. Excuse me? What's this about not making it out of here alive? Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation, and honestly, it's a miracle anyone in this room is still standing right now. Don't act so surprised. Can you not feel all those gashes and holes pulling you apart? If the princess doesn't do you in here, blood loss is certain to finish the job. You take another step forward, and the princess lunges towards you. The two of you enter one last exchange, a flurry of blade and claw and fleshy ribbons. And then you stop. Neither you nor princess able to go any further. You collapse on the ground and the princess collapses beside you. Blood pools around you both, and you watch each other fade away. Bye. After all this time alone, I thought I'd finally found a friend, but you were just another monster, weren't you? I'm literally a bird person. Oh, Silence all bird man. As the room starts to get fuzzy around you. You've paid a terrible price, but you've saved us all. It's over. If you think this is it, you're sorely mistaken. One way or another, I'll make sure you pay for this. I'm counting on it. But you don't have time to worry over such things. Everything goes dark, and you die. Yeah. Okay, yep, awesome, we got Wish. Okay, uh, proceed to the cabin. So we need to leave? A warning. Or slay her? Before you go any further. Slay or leave. Okay. So we are going to take the blade. You take the blade from and to the basement. Uh, Did you save? I'm gonna save. <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna do that, and we're gonna return, and we're gonna say nothing. Silence, I see. Don't think I've forgotten about you. I recognize the sound of your nervous little footsteps as soon as they came into my home. I know who you are. And I remember what you've done. She must have you confused with someone else. Now we're good. Uh, slay the princess. Slay the princess. I'd like to be straightforward with my intentions. I didn't care for how you treated me last time. I think you might be a danger to the world. I'm going to attack you now. <laughs> or leave. I don't trust you. Not enough to free you and definitely not enough to get close to you. I'm leaving. Bye. I mean, both of these are good. Which one do you want to do? Well, slay or leave will get us wild, so yeah. I vote leave just because that is kind of funny. Bye. Very pragmatic. That is why you're in charge. A opportunist. Abandoning me, are you? Fine then. Run. Tuck your tail between your legs and scamper away. Bye. I will. Thank, thank you. Me, but you can't escape from what you are and what you've done. If I don't take you, the wilds will. Foreshadowing. You turn to leave, but as you do, there's a deep guttural groan seemingly uttered by the walls themselves followed by the creak of wood being stretched beyond its limits the Ooh. cabin starts to get smaller oh no what the hell is going on we're getting out of here and saving our skins that's what's going on mm -hmm. as the roots that make up the walls of the cramped basement attempt to close in around you instinct kicks in and you bolt upstairs the steps are uneven and lively, creaking as they expand out of the dirt floor, the stairway growing smaller and smaller as you dart up towards the light. You manage to squeeze through the door just as the entrance seals itself shut behind you. The cabin is smaller than it was before, and it's getting even smaller and smaller. That's fine. We'll just leave. I'm sure you'd like to do that. But unfortunately, there is no longer a front door. The roots have already closed over the only possible exit. What little light peeks through the holes that were once windows is growing weaker as the cabin continues to close in on itself. We could have run! Shit. What do we do? As your mind races for an answer, you hear the princess's voice crackle up the stairs. Do you hear that, you loathsome thing? Those are the roots of the wild, and they're coming to choke the breath from your lungs and squeeze the life out of you. Um, give up and await your death. Uh, 
What about you? They'll crush you just as easily as they'll crush me. As long as you suffer while you die, I'll gladly suffer with you. Especially if I get to hear it happen. This doesn't help anyone. I can't believe she'd kill us both just to spite me. I can. That seems right. See? It does, see yeah. exactly why you were tasked to slay her and why you shouldn't have left her in the basement. She's an antisocial monster who'll gladly burn the whole world for her satisfaction. The roots grow ever closer. We know. We can see them. <clears throat> um. Come on, they're pressing in on me. They're probably pressing on you too. Uh, we're not animals, we're people. We can. Nah. I nah. Think nah, give up. Yeah. Take me, roots. You slump to the floor as the roots continue to expand into the cabin. Ugh. We're never gonna make something of ourselves with that attitude. At least she isn't gonna make something of herself either. At first, it's almost gentle. Your body being lifted delicately off the ground as the floor shifts beneath you. But the cradle of the growing roots starts to feel suffocating. Then unbearably tight. Then that tightness gives way to bulging pressure oh. as they begin to constrict. This is graphic. Oof. Yep. The sound oh. of the wood is drowned out by the snaps and pops of your bones. Pain flooding your senses as you feel your skin deform being shaped unnaturally by the living cabin. I have hollow bird bones! The suffering is what you deserve, you hideous creature. Know as you die that you are hated. I hate you, and I'm glad to die horribly if it means you die with me. I wouldn't have it any other way. The pressure is unfair. Tell me how you really you can't feel! can't breathe, your vision swimming with red, your head pounding with trapped blood. And then, you pop. Oof. Everything goes dark. And you die. Yeah. Thanks. I hate it. That was rough. That was rough. We huh. are a path in the woods. We have no beginning and we have no end. But something cold and unnatural sits watching us from just beyond our edge. All right. We want united. Yes. His gaze pushes against our borders. Curling them in on themselves, preventing them from stretching to the places they need to reach. No, 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 that's all wrong. You're not a path in the woods, you're on a path in the woods. <laughs> I have become path. Let me, uh, let me, uh, do that. Here we go, here we go. I can be taught. You can, that's not, yes. That's not the princess, is it? Oh, no. How many times have you been here? Oh, buddy. I think this is our third? Of this run. That's bad. That's very, very bad. It wasn't even supposed to reach two. If you're at three, well, no wonder things aren't the way they're supposed to be. I like it how it's chapter three is when everything gets all wonky. Yeah. Let's get our facts straight. What happened last time? What could you have possibly done for things to be like this? The thing that sits beyond our edge speaks his logic into us. He tries to grasp at things that cannot be grasped. He tries to stare with wide pupils at that which can only be held from the corner of the eye or with a passing glance. Shut up. The rest of you talk. What happened? What did you do? <laughs> Why does he want to know? I don't mind where we are right now. It's rather nice. I can hear what everyone is thinking. There's no reason to keep secrets. We tried leaving her in the basement, but she made the cabin come to life, and it crushed both of us into a fine paste. And now we're here, existing. With the melting We am trees. become path, yes. We, we am become path. And for what it's worth, I'm with him. This is nice. It was a fitting end. I'm sorry if it hurt, but doesn't this make it all seem so small? I see. So the cabin ground you into paste, and now you're convinced you're stuck together. What a mess. He doesn't understand. We aren't convinced of anything, and we aren't stuck together. We're one. This is how we're supposed to be. Can't you feel it? Uh. Why 
you being nice to me? Don't you hate me? Don't we sort of hate each other? I can feel the pressure of the outside pushing in on us. What are we supposed to do about it? This is how we're supposed to be, but what do we do now? Whatever we are right now is an abomination, and I want out. No, we don't no, want that. No, don't want that one. I'm supposed to... No. Okay, you, narrator, how do I stop her? Um. Mm, what's up above? This thing watching us, what is he? Oh, that's asking about the narrator. We know what that yeah. is. Yeah. Um, this is fine. I like being like this. We want to be unified. Yes. You can't just passively exist forever. Watch me! With her. That isn't how it works. <laughs> I don't care Sorry, narrator. the cabin that killed you, because it seems to me like she was the reason the cabin could even do something like that in the first place. You need to remember that you and the princess are enemies. Nah. Wrong. Bygones be bygones. Remember what she's done to you and how much it hurt. I mean, we stabbed her we first. Can't go back Whoa. To that. We can't go back to the doubting and the hatred and the schemes. Not after being something as beautiful as this. She's right. Doesn't all that conflict feel so far away right now? So petty? We've been posed against each other by something that understands the strength of our unity. I like Ambien Princess. Yeah. <laughs> She's very chill. Speaking of you, puppet master, have we considered that maybe she's the one trying to trick us? No. Now we're good. It's always the unreliable narrator, bud. But there's a feeling, isn't there? That petty feeling she mentioned it is fuzzy, but it's there. Almost like she still hates us. It feels mutual. Please, stop. If you pay attention to that feeling, we'll fall apart. No. Don't look at it! Okay. She's trying to turn you away from the truth. There's something she doesn't want you to see. I think you already know you have to look at it. Everyone's pulling in different directions, but that feeling... That feeling doesn't have a motive, it just exists. Maybe we should look at it. Uh, bury it. Yeah. Yeah. No, you can't bury that feeling. You can't hide from your past. Watch me! The past doesn't have to exist. Our freedom is within us. We just have to find it. Uh, turn inward and find your freedom. Yeah. Unity. Yeah. You fall inward, into a network of connections too vast for your mind to occupy. Are you a path in the woods? Are you a body? Can you even grasp the fuzziest edges of the shapes that confine you? We can change to fill them together. We don't need to be everywhere at once, just in the right place at the right time. You'd do best to remember that some wounds will never heal. Some rifts can never be mended. Even in rebirth, some things never come back the same. What is he going on about? What does he know about us? You aren't whole. You'll never be whole again. This struggle is meaningless. Whatever you think you're doing, you will fall apart. We don't need to be made whole. All we need to do is find a single corner of his cage and break it. You got it, ASMR princess. Mm hmm There is a place you need to be. You just need to find it. You stretch and search and stretch and search, growing as you decay and decaying as you grow, as you strain beyond your limits. The Am I a, a network of fungi now? And unstable and crumbles into nothing beneath you. It sure this seems place that way. Will fall apart before you find its end. Uh, we've really upset the narrator, goddamn. Yeah. This task, whatever it is you think you're doing, is impossible. Nothing's impossible. He wouldn't be trying to discourage us if that were true. Exactly. That's mm -hmm. right. I know a loser when I see one. Call his bluff. I can hold us together for a little while longer. 
So long as you trust me. I trust you. You won't find anything if I have to starve you. If I have to sacrifice my world to keep the princess at bay, I'll do it. Damn. Damn. But you do find something. It's cold and smooth and gently buckles, then cracks under the pressure of your consciousness, flattening against it. Don't move an inch. Don't grow another blade of grass or harvest the remains of another dying creature so you can expand just that much further. Stop all of this right now. No, I am become brain. I think it's too late for that, mate. I'm at your side. Shatter it and free us all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 stop. But his pleas disappear at the sound of break at the sound of breaking glass. For a moment, you and she gaze through the tiniest hole in the world at the place you need to be. We we found it. I knew it. I knew there was something he was keeping from us. Is that really all it took? A job well done, team. Just like I'd planned. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Is this what he kept from us? Is this why he made us kill each other? This beautiful. And then it's gone. Where did it go? Why is everything so cold? The hands, like, reach out for a princess and then shrug like, there's nothing there. Yep. Yeah, She's memory cool. turns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Approach the mirror. Gaze onto me. I am melting. Proceed to the cabin. I'm at the cabin. Oh, yeah, it's Tree Princess. Yeah, that's fine. Flickering lights and empty cityscapes become <laughs> what? of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. These hands are like, oh, oh, should we be? Never mind. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. Okay. Let's see what she thinks of this one. Yeah. Uh, do you have any thoughts on this vessel? This one is like a shadow of me, twisting vines in search of answers. She will make for a curious heart. <laughs> what do you think of this vessel? What is it? <laughs> do not mourn her. You brought me string. She yearned for. Okay, wipe me clean. I'm ready to go back. Yep. I await your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. Yeah, have fun we with that. Meet again. Bye. Bye. Okay. 